All right, so today we've got another meet the owner video and it is a Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Keep coming straight like that. Keep coming, keep coming. Jason, thanks very much for coming down yeah, today, man. mate. Appreciate hey, it, man. So you've come, you live near me, Houghton Regis, yeah? Yeah, that's it. But you're from Watford, right? Yeah, I grew up in Watford originally as a kid, yeah. So I put a post up on Instagram the other day saying I want to do meet the owner of certain cars, special cars, unique cars that I've not had on the channel, right? Yeah. And you obviously reached out with your car. Yeah. And you just sent me a picture of it. So how okay, much coming down. And I looked at the picture and I thought, wow. Like, I, I don't know loads about American cars. I don't have great knowledge in American cars. And I looked at that picture that you sent me and I thought, that's a serious looking car. Yeah, man. So it's a Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, yeah? Yeah, ZL1, yeah. So I know that they do different variants, yeah? Yeah. ZL1, where does that sit? Is that a low end one? So ZL1 is the most powerful one they make. You've got, <laughs> you've got a Z28, which sits slightly above it with a seven liter engine, but it's a track built car. Okay. So this is a 6.2 supercharged. It puts out 580 standard. This runs a bit more, 500 pound of torque. So it's the 580 horsepower. It's obviously real drive as well. Yeah, yeah. Manual gearbox? Manual gearbox, so that's really rare for this car because most of them are autos, so it's hard to get a manual. Because yeah. uh, being an American car, you know, you, you kind of want manual gearbox, V8, rear-wheel drive, all that combined, yeah. you know? So this is a seriously special car, isn't it? It is, I mean, look, the autos are good, um, but for me, I rented a rented a manual eight years ago for my stepdad, so he's massively into American muscle, he drag races, he's got two 1968 Camaros. Bloody hell. So trying to find a present for him is difficult. So one Christmas I rented one of these from a firm over in Essex who haven't got that car anymore. Okay. Um, I had it for a day. It was like 500 pounds for the weekend. It's a bargain. So I had it for the Sunday, loved it, and said I'll own this car one day. And then March this year, it was like a, I can get this now. So mission time, out yeah. to go and I spent three or four weeks trying to find one Yeah. and find the right one. And I specifically wanted this set up so pre facelift tail lights I prefer that okay yeah you um, said that earlier yeah yeah and uh, black on black as well it's also not an easy combo but specifically manual so bearing in mind I believe there's less than 10 of these other ones in the country probably four of them are manual maybe five so this is like mental like how rare this car is you, you said, won't you won't see one on the road you said you like and you're a guy who's into these cars you yeah, said you've yeah. never seen one on the road is that no right? you'll see a lot of the ss versions you know the classic bumblebee looking ones yeah, and all the rest yeah, yeah. you see a few of them driving around mm -hmm. you see a load of the v6 versions but there's 128 v8 re v8s registered in the country Bloody and hell. how many z01s probably less than 10 so I've, I've never seen one on the road not fifth gen anyway so the american car thing was sparked by your stepdad yeah, so I've grown up around American Muscle, going drag racing, originally really? banger racing actually. Oh, really? And he sort of moved in when I was very young to, to drag racing, so I've grown up around Santa Pod and all the American Muscle oh, and all that stuff. Oh, wicked. Yeah, yeah. Have you had anything American prior to this? No, first one. So, and how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 34. So, same, so you're a year younger than me. You look a bit, you look a bit younger than that, to be fair. You're looking good, man. <laughs> the fresh tan, isn't it? <laughs> and for a living, what do you do? I own a marketing agency. So you're into marketing? Yeah. Clearly doing all right? Yeah, they're going okay. Treating yourself to some nice nice bits, yeah. Yeah. And what's the plan with this car? Um, hard to say, really. I don't really want to mess around with it too much. Mm. I want to keep it. It's, it's had, the intake's been done on it, which is, they all do it, because they really need to breathe these cars. Um, put a set of long tube headers on it, sounds a little bit better, a little bit more power. So you've spent a bit of money on it in the time that you've had yeah, it? Yeah, I'll probably leave it alone, to yeah. be honest with you. It's, it's more than powerful enough. Back end wants to come out all the time, you've got, you've got to be careful. <laughs> I can imagine. Time. I can change the pulleys on it, change the pulleys on the supercharger, that'll get it up to about 750 pretty quickly, or around that area of 720. But you reckon with your little mods that you've had done, it's, I, it's, it's somewhere. It, it's 580 standard, somewhere between 6, 650, it's I don't a little know, bit something more like power. that. I mean, it might be a bit more, I don't know, I'm just being conservative. Do you know what the visual of this car, the way it bloody looks, or like on the road, like what a thing to look at, man. Even like being a ZL1, I'm guessing it's got a few different features over a normal one. It's got the, is that is that different? It's yeah, got the carbon so the, bonnet. Yeah, so the carbon, carbon fiber scoop in the bonnet, that's different. Um, this part of the, the bulge in the center, yeah, yeah. Comes up. It's got a slightly wider, uh, different rear end, different front end, the wing mirrors are different. It's quite a lot of styling changes from the SS up to the ZL1. The, the um, wheels are there, because they've got ZL1 printed they're, in them. Yeah, they're standard ZL1 wheels. So they're unique to the ZL1, Yeah, yeah, they've been diamond cut, as you can see. They um, look nice. 
I'm sure the American muscle boys that know a bit more than me will probably maybe point out a mistake or something I've made just saying no, 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 no. But, but yeah, you, it is a lot more aggressive the ZL1 over the SS. But for you, you're just a, you're an American car lover, yeah, and yeah, this yeah. is like the ultimate. And we talked about values as well, didn't we? Yeah. How much do you think this car's worth today? Uh, so I think with the mileage, so I believe it's the lowest mileage genuine ZL1 in the country. I think it's worth about 45. It's, which is, I know it's a lot of money, but yeah. it ain't a crazy amount of money considering the what, caliber what of car get? you're getting. Yeah, I mean, look, you're talking like 198 mile an hour car and there's, I don't know, 0 60 and 3 something, I'm not sure. Yeah, and it's, it's rare, rare, it's unique, you know, you're not going to it on unique, the unique, low mileage, manual, it's black what? on black, which is the color everyone wants for these things. I think it's just like you found the dream car and it's just a massive bonus that it's black and it? it looks wicked in black. Yeah, yeah. So you're planning to hang on to it, yeah? Yeah, mate, listen, unless I absolutely had to, like the house goes before the car goes, you know? <laughs> Fair play, man. Cool, I think the next step of the video is going to be going for a drive in it. So uh, yeah, we'll do draggy times as well because you want to yeah, see yeah. how where you fall on the draggy leaderboard. Yeah, yeah. It's real drives, running high power. It's looking like, well, the app's saying it's going to rain, but it's still dry at the minute, so we should be all right. We'll see, we've got good air temp, so said to you earlier in the heat this thing runs like 200 breakdown on power really it needs to breathe if the air's thin and it's hot yeah it's no good for the car but hot it air. might be all right today yeah a bit cooler hope. today cool nighttime right. driving fun in this <laughs> i yeah. bet it is wakes everyone up as well it does cool let's head out all right let's do it. <laughs> This interior is quite, I know you say it's basic, it's quite a nice place to be though, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right, you just can't see f all. The amount of blind spots in this car is on. Mate, the windows are like shallow. The yeah, bloody, yeah, yeah. The, everything's even, low, yeah, yeah. Everything's really low, you really sat inside here, isn't you? I said to you, Ricky took me out in his um, Dodge Hellcat. Yeah. It reminds me so much of that car. Very similar type of thing, I suppose. Yeah, they're cool cars. I was looking at them as well when I, when I was struggling to find one of these. I started looking at a Hellcat. I didn't really want one, I wanted one of these, but. <laughs> Hellcats are, they're crazy money, aren't they? I don't know they're what one. Of, yeah, they're a lot of dough. I mean, you're probably looking at like an extra 10 to 15 grand on top of one of these for a Hellcat. Really? Yeah. How's the left-hand drive thing? So, you, if you just click with it straight away? Yeah, when I, when I rented it one years ago, it was a bit of a thing to get used to. But um, I've driven a lot in France, in obviously in a right-hand drive car, and you get used to being on the wrong side of the road. So this, it's all right now, you just got to remember, apart from the fact the car is mega wide. It's a big car, like, isn't mega it? Mega wide, the rear arches and the wheels, the rear wheels are just like wide right here. Go right, yeah. Um, the, um, that gear stick is jokes. <laughs> a big car like you don't daily drive this though do you so you got your, no, 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 your no. one series you say yeah you got the one series so you, i suppose you don't get much use out of this at all do you not really i went to the car show at the weekend um drive it to the gym go out for a little drive here and there you know pop around and see a mate or something yeah yeah i don't want to put too many miles on it but at the same time i'm only going to get to drive it for like three months of the year and then i'll go in the garage over the winter you know yeah go right here yeah, exactly that, in the winter. This is not a winter car, is it? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
a beast, isn't it? <laughs> and you say you got a little boy as well? Sorry, go left here. Yeah, I got 11 year old son, he loves it. Does he? Yeah, I bet he does. It. My little boy would love this car. we just spoke about is the fact this is a manual yeah. like that is a it's a massive difference when you're doing draggy tires yeah, yeah so for you to be up against like, m4s perform so well on draggy times so for you to be up against one of them that's that's pretty good going yeah that's it just getting that power down in first gear is it's just a nightmare isn't it yeah yeah just on smoke tires but that's what this car is all about isn't it <laughs> cool man well thanks thanks for coming down um, I don't think there's much more to say, is there? It's, it's, been a, it's been a wicked experience for me. That's cool, man. Thank you for having me. Thanks, man. I'm not, I'm not the best passenger in the world, but it weren't, it weren't too bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, I want to mention on camera now that if anyone's got anything unique, like this has been a pleasure filming this car today. If anyone's got anything unique uh, that you you know you own or you know someone who owns, please reach out to me. I want to do more of these media owner videos. Uh, just cars that I haven't had on my channel. Like I'm doing all similar sorts of stuff all the time. The cars that I'm buying and selling, I just want something that's you know that I don't generally buy and sell. I haven't had many American cars on the channel, so it was wicked at getting this one today. So if you have got anything, reach out to me, Calvin at CalvinsCardiary.com or just drop me a DM on Instagram, all right? So uh, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, hit like, 
hit subscribe if you're new. I'll put your link, Instagram link in the description below. Yeah, of course. Uh, Z, is it ZL1 Panther? Yeah, ZL1 underscore Panther. Wicked. I decided that she's got to be, she needed a name, so she's called the Panther. She's got to be called Black the Panther. Panther. Yeah, yeah. Good name. Wicked. See you later. Hold on a minute before you head off, uh, I'd highly recommend you go and watch this video here. Honestly, it's a good one.